Hey, how are you, Brenda? Hello, Mary. All good. You tell me. How is Carol? She's good too. How's Janice? She's a riot. Ha <laughs> ha. So I texted to invite her to go trick or treating with us. Is that possible? Yes,、yeah, sure. She'd be so happy to go with you guys. Carol and Janice have been together since they were infants, so any activity that involves them doing it together is always appreciated. True, that's absolutely true. They love each other's company a lot. Yeah, and it's so great that we decided to let them go together this year for trick or treating in your locality. They will love it. I'm sure, Brenda. If you're up for it, I can pick them both from school today for a nice afternoon playdate. Oh, are you sure about that? Wouldn't it be too much trouble right after school? They can nap for a while, have something to eat, and then play together. You can pick Carol at six p.m. That would be too close to her bedtime. She will miss her dinner too. By the time we get home, she is gonna be exhausted and wants to sleep directly. Oh, okay. How about five? Sounds better. So you're picking up Carol and Janice today after school, right? Yeah, totally. Great. Thanks a lot. I can finally think of stepping out to do my nails this afternoon since I'll have a lot of extra time on hand. Yeah, that is lovely. I'll keep you updated about Carol. Sure. Thanks a lot. See you at five p.m. Sure. Bye. After the playdate. Hey, Carol got home and was upset. So I asked her what happened, and she said this. Hello. Yeah, I'm aware. How could you disinvite my sweet little girl like that? She is so sad now. Well, what she said was highly inappropriate and hurtful, and she said you told her that, so that makes it even worse. I didn't tell her that, but she could have overheard us speaking about it. But what's wrong with it? You actually made baby B unalive in your womb. It was stillborn. That's enough. You're such a horrible person. You're not really my sister. I'm gonna have to stay away from you and even keep my daughter away from you. A real sister wouldn't send away her niece home midway from a playdate and uninvite her from trick or treating with them. You know what, Brenda? There are a billion other ways of saying that to a young girl. The phrase you used was so incorrect and hurtful. You have to take her with you for trick or treating. Or you and Paul cannot come to my house for Thanksgiving dinner. Otherwise, really, I'm okay with that. But I won't traumatize my daughter via a third person by wrongfully telling her that her mom killed a baby in the womb, even though you know very well that's not true. I need an apology, Mary. My daughter Carol needs one too for being kicked out like that. That's clearly not happening, Brenda. The opposite is what needs to happen. What do you mean, Mary? I need you to explain to my daughter Janice that I was not a monster, and you need to apologize to me for being so mean about my abortion. That's not happening either. Fine. Hey, sweetie. We're going to Thanksgiving dinner at Brenda and Jack's house, right? Like every year. No, that's not happening, honey. What? Why? Brenda did something really hurtful, and we had a huge row about it. I even disinvited Carol to go trick or treating with us. Uh oh. But what happened? Well. Carol was at our house for a playdate with Janice, and she told Janice that I unalived our second baby inside me. So Janice began to cry, and I found out what happened. So 
I asked Carol who told her, and she said her mom did. What? That's not cool. She's only eight. Who discusses abortions with an eight-year-old? I know, right? Also, the way in which she said it to her demonized me in Janice's mind forever. And that's not how I would want my niece to think of me. Absolutely. Brenda had no business telling Carol about it, and the way she narrated it was never acceptable no matter what. Yeah, so I sent Carol home from the playdate and have also told her that she is not coming with me this year for trick-or-treating anymore. So Brenda uninvited us from Thanksgiving dinner, because I am not apologizing for whatever happened. That's insane. She's expecting you to apologize to her? Wow! Yeah. Miscarriages or spontaneous abortions are pretty common. That doesn't make you a murderer. What is wrong with your sister? I'm not hanging out with her anymore, and Janice won't be allowed to hang out with Carol either. I don't want her to learn the rubbish about me from others. How did you handle this situation with Janice? She must have been so sad. Yeah. Poor thing keeps asking us for a sibling. And then one day, she finds out her mom killed a baby inside her. How horrific could that feel? Truly heartbreaking. I told her the truth. How we miscarried at three months and how traumatic it was. She was a bit confused but tried to stay on the same page with me, so I didn't feel misunderstood or wrong. Such a sweetheart. I wish we could give her a sibling. It's not even been a year since the incident. You and I have not been able to heal completely from it. I understand, sweetheart. Whenever you're ready for it. Thanks for understanding. So, what are we gonna do for Thanksgiving this year? Let's invite everyone over to our place this year. That sounds wonderful. But then, everyone always spends Thanksgiving at Brenda's and Jack's house. You're right. I'll invite everyone and then we will see it from there. Are you sure you want to do this? You know how obsessed she is with these yearly dinners because she loves to host them. I know. I can do much better than her. And people should know what she did with me and my daughter. Honey, no. Thanksgiving is not a time for all these things. Please don't make it ugly. Are you serious? You want me to invite everyone over just to appear like a jealous fool? People need to know the real reason for my actions. Fine, go ahead. After Thanksgiving. Hey, yesterday was wonderful, wasn't it? Mom did the right thing. Yeah, right. Just because I wanted to host a Thanksgiving this one year, she didn't let either me or Brenda do it. She did it herself. You know, there's always a fight about who gets the bedroom at your mom's place. We got it this time. You should have seen Brenda's face. Haha. <laughs> yeah, every year they get the room, but this year we didn't let them. They had to sleep in the living room on twin air mattresses, which made it even more pleasant for me. You're so petty, oh my god, ha <laughs> Your brother is such a sweet guy. I feel sorry for him that he married someone like my sister. Yeah, I'm glad I got the prettier one. Really? Totally. Don't doubt it for a second. The best thing was that Brenda kept saying stuff about going to a hotel for the night and your mom just asked her to cut the crap at one point. Ha <laughs> ha my mom is God. Lol, mom was so pissed with Brenda for getting her dogs down with them too. They ate a huge chunk of the turkey and were even fighting with the farmhouse dogs. So much drama. Yeah, they had no option. At their house, everything is perfect, but this year she was so out of control and pissed. Brenda has been an asshole for so long and I allowed her to. Yeah, you shouldn't have pushed her dog in the pool, though. That was kind of horrible. Excuse me? 
She tried to push me in the pool, so I held on to her dog's leash and pushed it away instead. It was an accident. One that she will never forgive you for. Something that I don't really care about. Okay, look. We are all a family, and you two need to reconcile at some point, because my mom won't tolerate this drama at another family gathering. Well, I'm sorry, but I am not the wrong one here. I even agreed to spend Thanksgiving with her, even though I couldn't stand her. She still kept doing mean things, and she doesn't deserve forgiveness. She's your sister. She's adopted. That's why she has always hated me. What? Why haven't you told me this before? Because our parents raised us as siblings and never differentiated between us and our brother. So that's why she hates you? No, that's why I hate her. She came and tried to divide my parents' love. She tried to become the center of attention in my house. Huh? I'm a bit confused here. Brenda didn't say anything to Carol, and Carol didn't say anything to Janice either. They were fighting over a toy, so I made that all up. I wanted to do Thanksgiving dinner this year so your mom would know that I am an amazing host and cook too. But mom did something even better and invited all of us, which pissed her off on so many levels. You're crazy, Mary. You're nuts. Haha. <laughs> So what? Just a little bit of fun. You accused her of something that never happened. I forgot to speak to Janice about it, or I would have known you were lying. Why do you have so much pity for her? Because she's my sister-in-law. Didn't you have a crush on her when we dated? I did, but that was years ago in college. What is wrong with you? Why are you bringing that up right now? Because I know you'd like her. You, your mom, the whole goddamn family likes her more. I'm just a side piece who fits okay in the family picture by your side. She's the star of the family. God, Mary, you're crazy and delusional. I had no clue you have so much shit filled up and going on in your mind. If I'm not right, why did you two go to the lake alone this morning before we left the farmhouse? Oh, that? Because she was upset that you won't even look at her or acknowledge her presence anymore, and you don't even let Carol and Janice play together. Really? Of course, yeah. What else could we be possibly doing? How would I know? You're the one who laughs at all her jokes while I can barely make you smile. You're so attracted to her. Well, she's an amazing woman and she's kind of magnetic, but I don't see her in any other way except as your sister and my sister-in-law. Oh, really? I cannot believe you're doubting me and Brenda. I just cannot have this conversation with you. Oh, really? But you can have all those endless conversations with her after work at her house? Janice told me everything. Huh? What did she say? Your daughter told me that you visited Brenda often and she would be there playing with Carol. And you both would go into the bedroom for a bit and come out looking out of breath and exhausted. And then had to have a drink together. That's not true. We never went into her bedroom. You're lying again. There you go. That means you have been visiting her often. Janice was right. Why would you hide this from me? Well, I love her cooking, so I went there to eat sometimes and chat with her. I never told you because I thought you would already know. She's your sister, and sisters don't hide stuff from each other. You could have asked me to cook those dishes for you. You're a horrible cook, Mary, for God's sake. Mom didn't want to eat your burnt turkey and... She knew you and Brenda had a fight, so you wouldn't come or let me attend either. So she hosted Thanksgiving at her house instead, so everyone had to come. What the fuck? You just claimed to hop over to my sister's house for a meal, but called me a horrible cook. Yeah, 
you're a shitty person and we are always scared. What if we piss you off? So we just keep quiet and eat your shitty food. I hate you. She thinks she can steal my husband and kids from me. She can't. No one's stealing anything from you. You hate me now, don't you? I do not. Do you love me? Yes, you're the mother of my child. How can I not? So why are you being so blunt when you know it's gonna hurt me the most? Because you're so dramatic and delusional. And the slightest disapproval or criticism you get sets you off. You go crazy. You're calling me crazy? Is that true? I need psychiatric help? Well, not to be rude, but my whole family thinks so too. Normal people don't do what you did. I hate all of you. You are all abusing me emotionally and mentally all these years. And now wishing I go see a psychiatrist? You're impossible, Mary. I'm pregnant with your brother's kid. Yes, I am impossible. <laughs> huh? Deal with it. Mary had a bipolar disorder and strong feelings of jealousy towards her adopted sister, Brenda. She hated the fact that they were both married off in the same house to brothers and the competition would never end. The competition was in her head and nowhere else. She had the best in-laws and husband. She had the beautiful daughter, but she didn't see all this as a blessing. She kept sulking over the fact that Brenda was better than her. Paul had had enough of her crazy behavior too, and lost it on her in the last conversation. She couldn't believe he was being so honest and blunt with her about her, so she spiraled even more and said a lot of things she didn't mean to. She was not pregnant with Paul's brother Jack, but someone else whom she had been seeing the past few months because she wanted Brenda and her husband to suffer. She put the blame on her brother-in-law. She was cheating. They asked her to get a paternity test, and she ducked out, which made everyone hate her to the core. She was kicked out soon after and is in therapy. They're not officially divorced as Paul wants to support her in therapy and see if she can change for the better, as they also have to think about their daughter Janice. The family was shaken when the beans were spilled about all the things she had done to have an upper hand over Brenda. They have strongly advised Paul to stay away from Mary now.